Okay, so today I need to make probably improvements to the template for the sta uh, state data pool, the allocation version anyways. I need better testing because right now it's just testing insertion of one set. I need to do like some interleaved testing. And I'm probably probably going to have to add new items to this. Just gonna place multi move in that. <clears throat> so one of the first things I'm probably going to do is probably insertion stack interleaved. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to do some interleaved insertions. So what this is going to be test case. It's going to be where I'm going to add a bunch of numbers up to 20. First, I'm going to do the even numbers, zero through 20. Do maintenance so they get stuck into regular the regular storage. And then on the next maintenance, I'm going to insert all the odd numbers. And I'm going to make sure that they actually like properly insert in order. So uh, first part, we need to get this. Do up to 20. Starts at zero. Um, I plus equals two. Or zero, one, two. I want to do it in reverse order as well. To make sure that they go in order as well. Test num. Uh, greater or equal to. Greater than zero. We won't do zero. Minus equal to, okay. Let's change this up to test. So what we're gonna do is gonna be inserting integers. I, I, it needs to be like mm, standard move, does it? Even in ascending order. Idea writer iterator equals test dot begin. Go through four equals starts at zero. Technically, it would start at two. Less than or equal to C test. By two, we need to increment the iterator, increment the data iterator. Okay, then second set insert the odd numbers
C test num minus one. Okay, um, okay, we'll do that. Okay. And run. Let's have a look. Uh, okay, so. One fifty nine. Okay, so this is a not. Right. It didn't ins. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, that'll work. ID iterator one. Yeah, okay. Nine. Okay, test dot size. Do I, do I have like. Uh, No, it's debug. Okay. First of all, this one worked fine, so zero. That's how it's check the size. The size is should be 10, 2 through 20. 10, 2 through 20. We go through the insertion, and then it gets to this point where nothing changed. The, in, the inserted list is. Oh, you know what? Actually, maybe it would help if I actually called test.maintenance. Good idea, me. Good idea. Hmm. Cool. Mem copy param overlap.
Yes, yes. So my fears of this have come true. Okay. Um, okay, uh, let's open up Chromium. Mem copy reverse order. <clears throat> Mem CMEM copy in reverse. Okay, mem copy do 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 do. Mem move. Okay, so I can't, I may not be able to do mem copy, which cannot overlap, but I can do mem move. Which. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, okay. Is there any way to really, I mean, if it detects that they're in order, then it probably, if they're out of order, then it probably moves down to mem copy anyways. It probably just does a bit of homework beforehand. In my mind. Okay, uh, so now we have a slightly different issue here. Where we are instead dealing with uh, a new size of plus one. Hold on. To move that, move that. So just add ID trader two. We do this, we come back out, and we've got uh, something very bad. Something went very, very wrong in here. 2, 4, 6, 8, blah, 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 18, 20. Good. Go down to here, and then, then it's just oh, okay. I need to go in and actually look what's going on in the maintenance. So to make this a bit easier. That we go 
the insert pass. Okay. One, three, four, five. Okay, these are in order. That's correct. We reserve the size. We have the source destination offsets, which are currently nothing. Great. Yes, same values. Skip, otherwise we're not here. PID minus that, which means we need to put this in position zero. Yes, that's the iterator to the map, putting it in position zero. Okay, we increment insertion iterator we need to uh, increment by one so PID points to three what oh 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 I'm incrementing the the, the, uh, the uh, pointed to value not the actual pointer whoa The only reason it would always uh, survive, work perfectly fine on the first pass is because like it's they all went into spot zero anyways. Okay, uh, that's the insertion of the first one, right? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're here. First one goes into position zero. Zero, yes. Increment by one, PID. So now it points to four on the second position. Great. We're here. Thing is for three. So this goes into position, the second position of position one, offset one right now. Okay. Ooh. So that works. Just a minor. Two, three, four, nine, ten. Plus ID iterator of eighteen. And ID iterator of nineteen. Yes. Yes. I like this. Uh, to insert, inserted, 19, okay, these are backwards, why, why, I, I don't get this, this is a bit bizarre to me, Okay, it must have something to do with. Do, 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 do. We go on, we do this, insert it in place back. The position. 
What about the inserted offsets? Eight, it, again, they're in reverse order. Why? Because I'm doing it in reverse order. Oh, yeah. Okay, because what I'm doing is I'm shifting things over and then inserting it. So I'm only moving things at most one time. Right. Yes. Okay. And these positions, it's 0, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are the right positions. 18 will be the new one because it's the odd number. And same thing here. 0, 2, presumably 4. OK. So I need to, is there a standard reverse? Okay, I can probably just do that. In ascending order. using them yet but I will I swear I will right, come on back through again these are the values these are the offsets great Let's add this and add this to staging. Now I'm going to need some items. I'm going to need more ways to access the data, to find the data, aren't I? OK. So that's the iterators. OK. Um, first of all, I'm actually going to need some const versions of these, won't I? For if the, if the class, if the entire class object is brought about as a const, I need these to be const versions as well. As well as like the actual C const versions themselves. Same thing here. Let's add some search capabilities. Uh, we'll do auto, no, not auto, size, T, because these are all pointers right now. So I don't, do I want to return a point? No, because I can't return a pointer, because I don't know if we're searching through, a pointer would be specific to that one type. I just want to, present an offset so people can use that offset across all the different pointers for the different member stored member types sequential search binary 
search. Gonna start to begin. And the iterator. Find it we return iterator minus begin. Increment that otherwise. We return size as a, as the error case beyond the end technically. And then we do the same thing here. This, I guess we'll just use the, the standard find. Actually, I could just return it minus begin. If it doesn't find it, it already returns the past the end iterator. So just do that. Okay, okay. And then we want to do similar forms down here for removed. Just do like rm. Okay, I think I can do this very nicely, right? This, this, I mean, it doesn't even matter. If I'm not using it, it won't even build in anyways. Uh, okay, is there a way? Yes, there is a way I can force it to force this to build. Mm, open this file. Okay, I'm here. I'll call it like what? Template class. Right, this will force it to be instantiated. Yeah.
Uh, this argument to member function size as type, but the function is not marked const. Because this is const, but this is not. Mm, same thing over here. I should also be able to do a thing which just returns bool exist. E exist or exists? Singular, uh, singular. Which just does turn find of ID null equals to size. An arm exist down here. Mm, not quite yet, actually. Okay, so stage that, stage that. Okay, uh, at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a whole bunch of time making tests. Let me just make a note so I don't, so I cut this out of the recording because this is going to be super boring stuff. What time are we? 32 minutes in. But of course, I'll stream that because there's no one here. Okay. And Mark. Okay. So I think at this point, I'll turn, start putting stuff back into recording. Because that was a couple hours of nonsense, adding a whole bunch of test cases. Now, and for those catching back up, uh, there were only a few items that were changed for the actual template uh, template implementation. I fixed a typo in sequential search and same thing on the RM sequential search. As well as I added some const versions of the inserted iterators. Actually, I need to do that as well. I need, I'm going to get rid of the M inserted set. So it's like instead it's the M inserted offsets list. That's what's returned. Uh, we don't need the list of inserted anymore. We can just scrap that. Which means we can also get rid of it from here. It's not required because we can just find them from the offsets. Save a bit of time. A bit of instructions. And there we go. Okay, put that staging, um, that's a lot of stuff. Just add that to staging. Now there's one, Now at this point, there's one thing I wanted to do here specifically. When I'm attempting to insert multiple of the same, into the same ID, like in this case, I'm trying to insert ID 16 and I try three times, one, two, and three. What I want to do is I want only only the last one to take effect. Like typically uh, standard unique operates on the basis of like the first one is the one that's kept. But I want the last one to be the one that kept like the, the latest one, I suppose. Is what I'm looking for. Uh, for whatever reason. Anyways, and this isn't working. So if I enabled that a moment ago, that should fail, correct? Unless it succeeds now. Yes, it does fail. Because it's it's doing this one first. That's the one that's going in for some reason. Yeah. Uh, 
Where is the insert call? There. We can place it. Which I imagine is failing. Ah, first or last? I mean, I may as well just make my job a little bit easier. I'm going to just say the first one is the one that gets in. The others are discarded. So if we so if we flip this around, make sure it's the one. Okay, now we're somewhere else. Five. Oh, save it. Okay, let me do. Let me instantiate this again and actually see what I'm doing for. Do I have code coverage? No. Well, that happens, and it's approaching the end. So let me go to the directory, uh, build code coverage. Here we are, test engine. Do that, run it. Okay, makes a lot of sense. There's not much going on in here. Oh, uh, hmm? got a little bit of a problem here where I'm excluding things that are in this directory. Whoops. There we go. Okay. We're, wow, actually we've got really good coverage of this stuff. 94%? Oh, that's the map. 98% really that's impressive coverage got almost everything I don't have a destructor yet do I And I'm back from a crash. So I was about to do something. I was looking over this. In fact, I actually covered all of it automatically. It was something to do with destructors. Yes, I was going to do something about this destructors. Now that's going to be along the case of, I can do this if, What I want to do is if cost expression standard is destructible, can I do like has this destructor? Uh, type traits is destructible. I want to try to cut out uh, this if it doesn't actually have it. If it's a 
same as one and additionally. Okay, so if cons not standard is trivially destructible index type. Then we want to actually go through this. Otherwise, we can just skip it all and move along. So that should cut this out. Because then it's not even required. Nice. Takes me from 98 to... 98%. I guess it makes sense. It's pretty small, all things considered. So a slight minor improvement on that. Mm, I don't, I'm not actually using that, so keep that out for the moment. These are all common private items. Okay, I am pretty happy with the tests that I have here. And the state of this. So now I need to do the more interesting part of do it, of creating a benchmark for all of this. And we'll reset that. I need I need a benchmark so that I can test my idea that whether my idea for this single multi-allocation storage thing is faster to operate, especially during maintenance, than the one using the standard map. Actually, I should probably copy this over to do the standard map as well, right? Because this begin, ooh, this is a whole different ball game. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to need is the, I need a set of like a test data set of random numbers, but I don't want to use the random, uh, the uh, random functionality because even though like, Typically, you can get pseudo random numbers on each platform. The di the problem being that each platform would have a different set of pseudo random numbers, so it won't won't be uh, as comparable across platforms as it would be if I actually had just a set a test set of data. So I need to generate test seed uh, seed. I need to generate a whole bunch of values here. User bin environment sh. I'm going to start with uh, the count. Be a number. Now file will be. Mm, Okay, out into the out file. We need to set up the print f if and def. Also need one at the very end. Then we have to include two hundred 
two new lines on this one. Include. C++ will just array and then the C standard int. Or, you know what? No, I'll just call it unsigned. No, C standard int, so I know it's a 32-bit. Or at least 32-bit. Uh, printf. It'll be a what? Standard array. It'll be that. That's what matters. Times count. Put the data in a for loop here. Then we end it. Two new lines. For i in sequence to count. Do. I'll put the hmm, 0x, because it's a hexadecimal num value. Make a call to uh, OK, what, if I want to use your random hex dump. That sounds about right. Hex dump, going to in four bytes. Identical lines. Displaying of data. So dash V, dash E. We want to format. Um, four over one. X hexadecimal then with a new line just one per line close that up and we're reading from dev u random comma new line I'm missing uh, something here Ah. Test chmod plus x generate. Uh, we'll generate 128. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's yeah. Don't appear to be. that need a new line extra new line here okay and what we'll do is clang format dash i do it in line, so I'll do that. 128 of them. Nice. How much? How how big is this? 1.8 kilo uh, kilobytes. So let's do uh, 8,000, 8,000, 16,000. Uh, hold on. Elk.
10, 24 by 32, let's say. 32,768. Okay, close that. Okay, this is uh, taking bit longer than I was expecting. I mean, where, where is it? 20, that is still okay. It's close. It's getting close. Okay. We now have 32,000 Yeah, okay. How big is this? 400 kilobytes. That sounds big enough. 32,000 test C data. That should be enough entropy that we can get some useful differences in uh, benchmarks. Um, oh, actually, now that I think about it, I need I need to do one more thing, don't I? This template doesn't have a destructor, so if uh, this is destroyed, then all the data is still there, whether or not, like, even if it has ugh, stuff that need, needs to be, I mean, No, I'm not going to. If you're destroying the pool, you should already have removed all the items. Mm. Oh, man. Destructor is something I really should have. grab a drink and quickly think about this okay <clears throat> let's uh, get a look at this so on the the removal pass or the clearing of the removal pass remove and removed so yeah that's a bit of a problem I don't actually clear things when I'm removing them If we have, if this isn't empty, that means we have data in there to deal with. So what I'm going to do is, like, I have multi-delete already up here somewhere. No, I'm in the wrong one. Get out of here. Template U. Oh no, I already do this, yeah. So what I'm going to do on a deletion.
and then we gotta do the same thing for I mean that would be it the standard map will deal with any of the inserted items right now so that should be it I think Okay, let's make a custom uh, state state pool alloc int. custom type that's going to have some fancy stuff so I can actually test this out I need a type first this as a pretty large thing. Pretty sure there's supposed to be a null option kind of deal. Hmm. Hmm. Was it optional? Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, we just say it's I. Okay. Variant is really kind of janky to use. Don't like it. Okay, this should allow mostly interoperability. Custom. This has a destructor that really should be called to destroy this. Otherwise, I'll have memory leaks all over the place. So template class Mm-hmm. 
Come on, there's got to be an error. Oh, it probably... Well, build's fine. That's a positive. I'll take that. <laughs> so this is... fails is it just because of this variant thing no 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 something stranger is afoot so the ID is fine this one is not. Okay, we're in here. So the right hand side is 128. Test. Thing. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't I didn't set it. Wow. It actually worked fine. Um, do this again. Again, I got rid of uh, that, which should be temporary. This is multi-move, okay. This is just never happening. Okay, this is happening on custom type that makes sense as part of the the the, the destructor okay that's good
if I was to get rid of the destructor at the moment, that should cause, or just at least do this. Right, this is going to cause problems. This should have an address issue. The address sanitizer should scream at me. Yeah, yeah, so. Good, 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 good. Whole bunch of four byte leaks from that. This is required. Good. My idea holds up. This is still holding strong. There's a lot of good cases. Yes, yes, yes. Is there one where I can actually see? Yeah, this is the Alec Pool Custom. This is the one with the int Ajure. Hmm. I'm actually quite interested in to what is happening on the one where I interleave the data. Interleave multiple removal, staggered removal. So this is the opposite of the staggered insertion. Okay, here we go. At the moment, test should have a bunch of items. There's 21, 21 stored items, one through 20, would be 19. Ah, whatever. So we go inside of here. We're going, we got the size of 21. So what we're doing, we're doing, going inside. The first type is trivially destructible, so we don't even have to bother. Go in here. This is not, so we actually go through them. Manually calling the delete, the Structures. Okay, yeah, so this is happening correctly. Okay, that is another sidetrack done. Destructors done. Okay, now uh, back to benchmarking. 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 So we have the test seed, a whole bunch of values. Some of them may overlap. Is there any way to prevent the overlap? Uh, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem. just use that for the moment.
So standard vector. It starts with test c test c dot begin c test c dot end. Gonna standard sort. the worst case, which is what I really want to benchmark, is the fact that we're inserting everything. The faster case would be that, that we're skipping elements. Um, I'll change up how I generate the seed a bit later. I just want to make sure that I got a, at least a good number of none of unique items. Standard unique. How does this operate? First, last, no, first, last, no. Remove consecutive values from sequence using a predicate. So I need auto end, e end equals, so it's going to return the new end. So from new end to the end. Uh, I'm still in here. Mm, nice. It's broken. So it's not... Mm. Oh, yes. We should actually put the value in first. Okay, a uh, standard vector is not quite, that constructor is not exactly what I was thinking it was going to do. I was thinking what it was going to do was it was going to put these, wait, hold on. It, oh, it just auto assumed, oh yeah, okay. It just defaulted, autoed into like, oh, you're 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 just giving it me a bunch of pointers. There we go. Well, I actually got it first try. Thirty-two thousand seven hundred sixty-eight. They are actually all unique items. Wow. And they are in order, right? Yeah. Nice. Well, at least with this test seed, I can uh, carry on then. Um, What am I going to do? First of all, I'm going to, I guess, have you know, the big case. All items, I guess. First big case is I'm putting everything in, not the sorted items. I'm going to use the sorted items to iterate through 
to something or other. Make sure. No, I already know that the items are in in order. That's fine. I don't actually need to bother with that. Why do I have them sorted? Just for this test. Okay. Yeah. expression just say hey you know never change I doubt that'll work it works and I need to figure out a way to kind of not have to move everything in for insertion I need I need to test the time it takes to do these things. These are all single threaded operations right now as well. Is there something I can do to f speed this up? Mm. Actually, would it even be worth doing all that effort to speed something like this up? Because again, these are generally rare operations. Yeah, no. Okay, I need to change this up, so. I have test or uh, timing stuff, mostly in use by frame timer. Hmm. But even earlier, actually, in here, I have chrono stuff. Yes. Um, I need to separate benchmark out. We'll just kind of That's it for the moment. So I can bring an easy clock. That's kind of it.
and format library as well. At least until it gets standardized. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to have figure out how to use it again. update clock dot update hmm. clock dot current time duration no, not current time. Current time point, last time. Lapsed. <clears throat> then we'll have to do the same thing here. Update, update, spit out the time. I need to shut down and restart the application so I can get Clang back. Control S, save, come on. Yep, there we go. I don't even need catch anymore, Hachi. Get rid of it. It's useless. Keep for OECS. Easy high res clock. Thirty five milliseconds and thirty two milliseconds. Thirty one, thirty five, thirty two, thirty three. Yeah, okay. Not too bad, actually. It's about the same amount of time as it is to insert for what was it, thirty two thousand? Items. What if I was to do nanoseconds? Bigger numbers equals better, right? Yeah. Whatever. Back up. Do this. Get rid of the code coverage. Get rid of the sanitizer. Just these ones. That should really, you know, crunch down the. Yeah, nine to three, eight to two, nine to three. Much faster. Well, much faster on the maintenance, not so much on the insertion. But there is positives to be had. Um, <clears throat> okay, so what I want to do then just as so that's that. Now what I, what I want to do is the other one. Just 
state, Google map, template, HTTP. If I can do the same thing, the map tool, tool template, at least for the maintenance cycle and stuff. Wait, what? Sorry, what's going on here? Yeah, state data map pool test. That's great. Yes. Okay, I see. Uh, they're using the same header guards. Still. Hmm. Oh, geez. That is quite a difference. In, I mean, the insertion, adding items to the insert is faster. Oh, faster, the same or faster. I mean, they should be the same, really, realistically, but the maintenance cycle is way, way longer. Let's just say we're iterating through all the data, all of the data. We're not even trying to pick data. We're just going through all of the data and we're just like times in it by two or something. So, so this will include the setup and the map. So, um, This should be faster. This is the this is the idea behind it. Is that it's even more grouped together in memory. <clears throat> Standard map would be all over the place, wouldn't it? 
I must confirm. Trust, but verify. Go through all of them like that. This is going to be a no contest, right? Yeah, no. Wait. Zero time. I mean, I guess. Is, is it even okay uh, I'm gonna figure out okay disassembly VS code Linux Okay, I don't know, and I'm not going to figure it out in a short time span. So let's fig finish this up. I mean, I, I, it could be. I mean, if it's doing 32,000 insertions in either 2 to 23 milliseconds, and I guess just iterating through and doing that also doesn't take any real time. I'd need a much larger data set. So I'm going to, like... 32, okay. Going to do, 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 do. Okay, can I get something like ridiculously higher than 32? So 10, 24 by 32, 64, 128, 56, 512. Ah, let's just do 10, 24 by 10, 24. Let's. Let's make a massive number and just because I can. It'll be large. It'll be several megabytes. 10, 48, 576. One, four hundred. Yeah. And I'll pause while this is happening. Hey, it's done. Okay, so how big was it? 13 megabytes worth of... Uh, Hundred thirty one thousand. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna like Okay, leave it for the moment. Let's actually see if I can uh... So that's gonna be a large binary isn't it? Yeah, actually it didn't take that long Yeah Okay, so when there's a million items, then the slight slowdown in uh, the map becomes more obvious or pr pronounced than this. I mean, what if I was to have, let's say, 
ID iterator equals test dot again. Let's move these out just a little bit. Let's say because we're moving two things, two iterators at the same time. Does that like even it out a little bit? I mean, still it's 24 milliseconds for a million items compared to basically a zero. 18. It's still zero, basically, though. What if I was to mm, do a comparison? It is going to be sorted. Because it's not going to be a million, right? It's going to be probably a little bit less. Okay, I'm just going to presume that it's just crapping out. So, reload. This isn't even debug mode anyways. It doesn't matter. What matters is... So we're actually accessing the memory in two distinct locations. One millisecond, still 18 milliseconds. So I wonder if there's something I can do about the insertion time. Maintenance is already down by a third. Uh, that's also because, oh no, isn't it? I need to also do for removals, don't I? Iteration.
I wonder of test. It's four point. What? How on earth did they compress that fourteen megabytes? Oh no, because mine is text, right? And then it'll be just binary, the, just the raw values instead. My bad. Of course. So I'm using what four, eight, nine, ten bytes to do it there. Okay, even removal is faster. Oh, uh, we're not doing it by sorted, right? Yeah, test seed. So it is basically randomly throughout the whole thing. So insertion calls at the same time, insertion maintenance three times faster, iteration significantly faster. Removal calls, I mean, that's the same time that makes sense that just putting in IDs into a vector. And the removal maintenance is four times faster. Hmm, three to four times. I like this. So at the moment, I'm trying to think. Insertion calls. Um, but this is also just using a, a uh, trivial type, just integer. So I'm going to have to have like a more complex type. What if it was the custom type? Does that make a difference? What if it's a very large type? 128 bytes is large enough. <sighs> Can I do
Okay, we got a, got a much larger type. Iteration is still multiples, 10 times slower in this case. Removal calls the same. Removal maintenance is just, ugh. I want to do some more type checks. So this was when I inserted everything all at once. Maybe, okay, back up a little bit. The fastest possible case is where they're integers. What if we added them on you know, small not so, so much small chunks, just like Okay, what I'm thinking is, what rather what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a new, let's put a new one at the start. And we're going to do a slightly different version. It's going to be four rather than it's, I want to do groups. So four uh, size T. Equal zero i less than c test seed size plus plus i. I want to do this. I want to do like two hundred at a time instead, or two hundred two hundred fifty two two hundred and fifty six. I want to do small bunches. I want to see if that really changes the time up, but I can't. So like if I want to do something like that. There we go. Every 256 or every 512. So I want to see like if we're trying to ing input data as it's expanding so like the data doesn't just cleanly go all in at once it goes in in bits bunches a more realistic kind of usage hmm. and then probably the same thing on the other side And then one final test maintenance out once we're outside. Okay. Nine fifty nine.
anything for this. What's it look like when we do this? Right here. It's actually much faster. Am I doing... That's actually interesting. I wonder, in map, when I'm doing insertions, once I'm done with insertions. Oh, no, I move it out. So, yeah, it's it's clear every time. Very negative. I don't like that. Just do it again, just to... Insertion two, yeah. Mm -hmm. Several times slower. It's probably going to be because of this like thing I have to do here. I have to do this extra step, this extra <clears throat> iteration through. No, but iterating through is takes no time at all. Is it the multi-move? I'm going to bet it's the multi-move. Even if it's because the map doesn't really have to worry about that, does it? Because it may put mem items all across in memory, which would uh, slow down the iteration. Okay, can I split this up?
Yeah, it doesn't matter. They even out together anyways. Unless these are all just so small that they never actually count. Which may be very possible. Hmm. So yeah, it's, it's the maintenance that's taking the time here. Okay, I need to figure out something to do about the maintenance cycle for the insertions. What if, oh, 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 what if I do this? What if, could, could this help? It could be a possibility of the fact that I'm just not reserving, it's just taking time moving these. No, that wouldn't make much sense. Because it's only 256 at a time, right? Yeah. Hmm. It could be... What about like the fact that I keep having to reallocate? What if what if I could choose the reallocation strategy or like the expansion strategy? Like I can set the starting capacity and then I can say every time you expand the capacity, then you expand it by a flat number or Mm, is it possible I, I could give it a function point that says hey just does something like it times two maybe um, hmm but that's that's interesting that is interesting because it may just be this reallocation the which in which case it's like I'm moving everything once and then moving everything again twice So, let's go up here. Would it be up here? Like a part of a regular capacity. Store, stored. We can say something like uh, size T. We already know the current capacity, so it's just like expansion rate. Every time it expands by New min size equals what? New min size divided by that plus one more of those. So if it expands like whatever, a million times all at once, does this make a noticeable change in? <laughs> no, that just screws it up entirely.
plus one times m. Okay, expansion rate. Whoops. Logical failure right there. But look at that. All of a sudden, the maintenance time is way down. It was only every three allocations and moving things around. So if, if I just do this one small thing, then I can basically match and slightly improve on standard map. Mm, okay, we'll just call it, end up call it even then. They're kind of like trading blows on that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So at this point, there's basically zero downsides to my new allocation template type. Nice. Nice. Um, right now, it's also just using the multi alloc, right? I wonder if I could just do like. Single allocation storage. Would that make a difference, let's say, for the insertion? Because that's... Mm, I wouldn't think so. Ooh, that is brutal. That looked brutal. Ugh. Yeah, the single allocation one is not... doing too well on the insertion calls. It may just be having trouble trying to allocate that much size all together in one thing. 1976. Don't know why it's removal calls. I'm sorry. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what's with the removal calls? So why is that so much faster here? It's the same type, it's the same thing. These are all deallocated, so yeah, they're cleaned up. Removal maintenance is the same time, but the calls are just much faster. Can't comprehend why, but any at any point, multi alloc storage is the way to go. And I am doing with with release, no code coverage, no other sanitization or anything slowing it down. That is as fast as it's going to get. It's all contiguous, all nice together in memory. Okay. Is. 
Okay, I think I've spent enough time <clears throat> on this for the moment. I, I've proven my point. It is generally, it's as fast, if not faster, than the original standard map. So I'll prob probably just offline, add some more tests, clean this up, make it something that maybe prints out data I can use on like GNU plot or something like that. But that's all really boring, busy work. It's not, not really as interesting. And so I guess I'll call it a day for this uh, one. All right, cheers. Okay, so I've uh, I spent a bit of time making the benchmark a lot nicer, adding some extra calls, and both doing int and the custom type. And I was about to do multi when I realized I don't think multi, like having like a, a type that's like, um, I should say like multiple, like int and custom, like I wanted to do. I don't think that actually works yet. Because if I go into here, or it hasn't even been tested whatsoever, like if I do int custom, then there's no actual way, like if I standard move this and then standard move custom constructed thing with val, it's going to just crap out because of when I try to, let's say, add it for a map, it just, it, yeah, this is not happening. Even if do, 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 do. even if the two insert is a type that if I can actually find it is technically supposed to be this, that's not going to work. Even if I pull up a uh, map, type, map, map, there you are. Like, because the, 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 the uh, next item would actually be the allocator, not the type. This is, is this maps are not variadic. Now, what I could do. do a standard tuple of these actually hold on that might work I'll have to make some modifications obviously I'm doing the insert pass uh, if I in place back, what is this? So it'll be standard tuple of that. Mm -hmm. And when I do this, single in place this isn't going to work because this is a standard tuple type now oh no but if it's always a standard tuple actually I can work I can work with this zero otherwise
be a standard tuple. That of components. Then what I want to do is I want to like standard move. This as index minus one minus minus one of that the tuple type is that um, that's already a tuple okay so I don't even have to forward as tuple actually Do, do, do. And end. And then I could just keep forwarding this forward. Mm. Maybe not. Now it's like just standard move it. Move it. Move whatever's remaining. Uh, standard move. Standard make tuple of components. Looking in instantiation of this, when it's just instantiating the one type, the custom type, right? Yeah. I'd have to say like custom val. Well, that's I can work with that. It's not the prettiest, but I can work with that. Okay, hold on. Let me. No, no. Yeah, I'll move forward with this. Matching conversion here. Make tuple of these types. Yeah. Can I do that? Is it. What is the correct. Is the right combination. Where do you put the ellipses? It's a question. Oh. Ooh. Maybe I fixed it. Okay. So it's now possibly compatible with multi type. Benchmark. Okay, get rid of that. Go back to benchmark. We'll just um, here it is. Custom alloc. 
pool. So this will be not the custom outlet pool. Insert maintenance. So this shrinks back down to just the original. So even though like it's both of them combined, like 128 plus the four bytes, it should be just as fast as just the regular int if I'm iterating through. So like this will be the epitome of hot and cold data type storage. It should work basically just as fast. This is the I a hope. All right, let's see what this looks like. So, yeah, the insertion 
taking about the same amount of time as the custom makes sense because it's the four like custom is 128 bytes and the int is only four bytes so although the fact it's not much more it's like it's not this level more than that means that there is actually uh <clears throat> i'm going to use a but a terrible business buzzword synergization there's synergy between this hot and cold idea and storing them together and it's not much more expensive it's it's not as expensive as doing the the custom plus and an int one as separate uh stored separately it does make sense that when possible to do them together but still have like the hot and cold ideas so that like you can go through the hot data really fast and the cold data can still probably take a long time. And again, like, yeah, it's, it's actually less time to do this one. I'm not sure why. Removal maintenance. Yeah, removal maintenance. Still, like, across the board, these are either at the same time or faster, All right? Yeah, same time, faster, faster, same time, faster, faster, and definitely like, yeah. Now, the fact that this takes almost a second, I mean, what am I doing? I'm doing like uh, 32,000 times how, how many times? 32,000 times 64. So what? That's 2 million cases. So if I'm doing 2 million cases at once, it takes me almost a second to deal with this rather than a second and a half here. That's a number I can work with. Because in reality, it'll be like dozens, maybe, at most on a typical tick, which will be super fast, especially if I can like <clears throat> do maintenance on each different component data pool separately in their own threads. It'll just, or as well, if there's just not even anything to be done, I could just really skip out really quickly and easily. But again, I'd much rather have more expensive maintenance cycles then have a much more expensive per tick um, per tick runtime penalty. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's just make sure that the iteration is not from. Like I didn't accidentally use the wrong. Oh, I did. I did. I did. Whoops. Whoops. Let's uh, make sure that that's not. Okay, so is it still like zero or what? It's still zero, so it matches the original int type. Well, I still don't understand how this, the, the remove maintenance is faster. the first one because that's the, the first one is when it's moving actually Ooh, I need to do remove a calls first pass Ooh. 
move maintenance all, move maintenance one. And then we need to do a second one because this only. Oh, that's probably. Wait, hold on. What? Did I have? I think I have these mislabeled. Remove calls. I have this mislabeled. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Remove maintenance 512 is the last one. This one has them separately. Okay. I need to swap these around. Okay, see, that makes a lot more sense now. I had them backwards. That's the remove maintenance 512. This is the remove maintenance one for all. And then we need a second one, a second pass where we actually do all. The first pass is where all the data is being moved from regular storage into the removed storage. So it's still accessible for systems to access data, to deinitialize and do whatever it needs to do to, let's say, uh, like in the case of the physics system, it needs to say, okay, this object is being removed. So I need to find where, you know, the world that this physics object is attached to and extract it from that one and deallocate any memory, any shared memory that the system has for that thing. And then on the next pass, then the actual object is removed from memory entirely. So first pass from regular storage to remove storage. And the second pass here is where it just gets wrecked right afterwards. Actually gets removed from memory entirely. So it's a combination of these two. Okay. Twenty to one, or fifty to one in this case. I don't un like. Why is this so? Oh no, that's not twenty to one. That's more like fifteen to one on the big type, but like fifty to one to the small type. Yeah. Okay, remove maintenance one. Okay, I also need to move the remove calls. to be after the 512. But otherwise, yeah, the second pass is no time at all, even for the custom types. Because that is, that is how it's working, right? Uh, remove pass number two on the custom type what's going to happen here is not that it's going to be benchmark OK, 
Come on. I'll bet you dollars to dimes, dollars to donuts. If I had the standard map with a standard tuple of custom and int, just iterating through the int will basically be at this much slower pace as well. Because it'll have to, because it'll the tuple will be in together in memory, which means it's a 128 or 132 sized mess it has to iterate through which just basically means you know, you can't deal do any cash it won't be in the cash ever It'll be painful painful to deal okay here we go okay uh no here we don't go what is this? I'm sorry. LTO. I'm sorry. Do I have link time optimization on here or something? I don't remember. LTO. I do. I don't recall adding it. Link, 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 link. Time optimization is going away. Okay, I'm going to grab a drink while this is happening. Okay, there it is. We run it again. Let's go. Let's go. Benchmark. What are we running? We're supposed to be testing that. Uh, pause. Where are we? PCS benchmark. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to be on. Oh no, I'm in like release mode, aren't I? Okay, pause while this builds again. Okay, here we go again. F5. Come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. I just want to make sure. Things are being removed. Very slow. Okay, pause while... Uh, time skip. Okay. Here we are. Now we can actually go inside and have a little look. The test right now. It's at the top. Uh, expansion rate is that I gotta do fix up expansion rate capacity is 40,000 wait a second nothing's to be removed there's nothing that's actually in removed Removed isn't even working, actually, right now. Whoa. What? No, okay. Let me really reduce the size of this. 
that is not right. We have 32,000 stored. We have a whole bunch of items to remove. That's great. Afterwards, nothing happened with it. Nothing. That is very, very bad. Okay, so to remove is that. It's not like I'm using M to remove, right? No, that's the last, so it's this. It's not empty. I'm sorting them. ever actually hit this no we don't what no something wicked very very wicked PID is zero. That plus that equals the same thing. Really? Uh. I'm sorry, what is this type? How did this get past my test? <laughs> I don't comprehend. I, I, I had, if I go down here for removals, right? This, this works, right? If I remove something, uh, I'm in the wrong type, first of all. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, we're here. We go inside, we have, do, 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 we have one thing to remove, 256. We do all this. 
CF00, CF04. So that's correct. That's great. So then why not here? By the time I go in there, and into there, and then into here. To remove is now sorted. Starts at 62,513, that's great, and all. ID start is this, AB0. AB0. Like what's what's going on? That's corrected again or not? Sixty-eight BF ABO all oh, B to D. Um, whoops, I'm the idiot. BF to DF because it's a multiple of two on the value, so it's just up. Yeah, okay. It's late at night. I'm screwing things up. So it starts at zero. Great. Go until we find something that you're telling me none of the items are that really like really. What is the smallest value of, do I, do I have sort? I don't have sorted anymore. Let's do that.
Oh, no. There we go. Starts at 62,513. So the earliest item inside PID should be that value. Why is it starting at something else entirely? Uh, C1 ABO, C1 ABO. Did I not just not put the data in or something? No, they're, they're here. This is really... Um, um, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. My test is bad because I'm giving it the I, not the val. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. My testing test data is bad. Now this makes a lot more sense of the some more weird results. Now it's giving it making a terrible test. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. What really matters is this. That's what I just never got up to that point. It makes it strange as to why these values were that. Okay, well, let's make sure we're actually removing stuff now, shall we? So now we actually have <laughs> test. Removed items, there's nothing stored. Capacity is still that. That's fine. Mm. Do we do this? And now it's zero. Okay. Bad inputs give bad data. So let's do this and set up back up to 64. And now we need to release. Make sure we're not putting any other stuff on it. No, we're not. Do the benchmark again.
removals are... Uh, it's actually not too bad. Now that it's actually removing stuff. Removing 512 at a time is still faster than just removing everything at once. By a fair margin. In fact, it's about the same amount of time as it is to actually just make all the remove calls at once. Um, why? Unless it's just the reallocation of the remove vector over and over. That could be it. But now, like, the removal, like, the first and second pass does make a lot more. There's an actual, there's actual stuff being done on the second pass. The, the structure's actually being called in the custom cases and then not at all for the int case, although apparently it's still a big deal for the map to clean up. More fixes, done, more interesting stuff, blah, 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 blah. I'll have to add a, a, a test for like multi-type. So, but otherwise I'll call it an actual night. Like this is pretty close to the refinement of this is pretty close to being there. Or at least the, the, the initial implementation, not the refinement, the actual proper solid implementation is here. The refinement will come next. So cheers now, for reals this time. <laughs>